about things that didn't pertain to them or that they weren't interested in. They didn't know anything about it. But more importantly, we're willing to learn. Now, something that's really important to me in relationships is feeling safe because I always feel like something's out to get me because it's always been like that. But I never felt safe until I got into a relationship with someone who was very much a fighter. And I would feel safe until shit hit the fan. And then I was the one who had to solve problems. I was the one who had to keep us emotionally together. I was the one who got shit done. Then I realized I didn't feel safe next to the person who could fight everything that came their way or could solve problems using money. I've had this bookmarked for months because of all the big, useless philosophical questions. This is my top three. But I could never add anything to it because neither of them have ever made sense to me, to be honest. You know, you mainly have empiricists who are like, no, it's free will. I see myself causing things every day. Forgetting that those causes cause other things, the cause and effect, which is why rationalists think, no, we don't have free will. And remember, fate and determinism are not the same thing. You also have many kinds of determinism. But the rationalists also just fail to see what's in front of them. Disregarding genetics, we see ourselves cause things. We think we have free will. What's the difference between thinking you have free will and actually having free will? Would you be able to tell the difference? No, probably not. You've never known anything else.